Hi, I'm Tudor Morgan. And I'm Judith Heinrichs. We are expedition leaders for Hütterüben. Today we are going to talk about the green technology we are using on our newest expedition ships, MS Friedhof Nansen and MS Roald Amundsen. This is pretty geeky stuff, people. I can start by saying MS Friedhof Nansen is the second hybrid powered expedition ship in our fleet. We launched her in February 2020. Her sister ship is called MS Roald Amundsen and they are almost exactly alike. So what you'll see here in this movie also applies for MS Roald Amundsen. We have named these great ships after two of Norway's most famous explorers and polar heroes. Roald Amundsen was the first to sail through the fabled Northwest Passage and then he was first to reach the geographical South Pole. Friedrich Nansen was also a great explorer, a diplomat and a professor in oceanology. He even won the Nobel Peace Prize for his humanitarian work. That was short, the background of the names. Right now, I'm standing next to the infinity pool on MS Friedrich Nansen. This is actually heated by the heat recovery system from the ship's engines. Would you like to explain a bit, Tudor? Yes. Central to MS Friedrich Nansen's and Roald Amundsen's sustainable design is an efficient heat recovery system, which redirects excess heat produced from the engines for use throughout the ship. This prevents the heat from being wasted or just dumped into the sea. Separate high and low temperature cooling networks and heat exchange boilers optimize the heat energy and distribute it to various sections of the ship. The galleys of the onboard restaurants, the pool, sauna, hot tubs, ventilation and central heating, freshwater evaporators and even the shower in your cabin all benefit from this recovered heat. And just to explain a bit about our hybrid engines, this means we are using a hybrid diesel electric system to power the ship. In the engine room, there are four latest generation Rolls-Royce Bergen diesel engines. And these engines are coupled to two AC switchboards that again are connected to two energy storage batteries. This is where we have our spare generator capacity available. Any well-run passenger ship will always have spare generator capacity available. Generators can therefore maximize their output in case one of the generators should fail, or if the ship needs increased thrust in narrow channels or during any kind of complex maneuvering. This additional capacity is called spinning reserve. To create the additional energy required for spinning reserve typically means pushing the generators harder by burning much more fuel. That isn't the case for our hybrid ships. Instead of relying on diesel generators and on greater fuel consumption, which in turn produces more pollutants, we have the option to switch to the clean battery system as the spinning reserve. This means that whenever the power requirement of the diesel engines is at the peak, the electric energy stored in the batteries can be used to compensate and level off those spikes. This is called peak shaving and helps greatly in avoiding using additional fuel and the associated emissions. Doing this allows the diesel generators to always operate close to the strategic optimum load, saving them from stress and strain, lowering general wear and tear and cutting maintenance costs. Our hybrid ships can also operate on just battery power alone for limited periods of time meaning no diesel engines on, no fuel usage and zero emissions. As the technology improves, we hope to be able to extend the duration of this all-electric mode in the not-too-distant future. This green mode is a very desirable function when docked at ports and not least when we're exploring environmentally sensitive areas. Well, let's add that the diesel engines themselves have among the lowest specific fuel consumption ratings in the market and only use low sulfur MDO or MGO diesel, keeping emissions well below current and future requirements. Phew, that was slightly technical. Oh, we're not entirely done yet. You see, the fronts of our hybrid ships are designed with Rolls-Royce's patented wave piercing bow. This reduces the ship's pitch motions and the resulting wave resistance whilst at sea. This is a great asset for both guest comfort and fuel economy especially as we routinely cross some of the toughest ocean areas of the world, such as the Drake Passage to Antarctica. Then I should mention that they also have really advanced propellers as well, 
The two bow tunnel thrusters, or propellers as I like to call them, are a Rolls-Royce innovation with a permanent magnetic motor built into the rim of the tunnel. These motors are powerful enough to be able to push or pull with equal mechanical efficiency either way. Compared to conventional thruster types, these hydrodynamic propellers offer much lower drag, lower noise and lower vibration levels, thereby helping to lessen fuel consumption and improve the sailing experience for you as a guest. So there you have it, ships filled with green innovation and technical solutions, loads of comfort, great food, super interesting science program and exploring some of the most pristine and interesting places in the world. Would you like to know more about how the experience on board is? Then take a look at our movie called On Board Our Newest Expedition Ships. You can learn more about our sustainability measurements by seeing the movie Hertha Gruten and Sustainability.